What's up you guys, Sam Burr here. Welcome back to Sammy Vostok. Now today, we are going to be filling in this area and I'm going to try to make it as busy as possible. Well, we don't want to go too crazy because then we don't want the game to be super, super laggy because it's already a bit laggy. It's quite a large city and I've, I've got a lot of tiles and there's a lot of trees, so it's quite laggy already. So, But we want to bring in a lot of people in this area. So I don't know if we'll fill up this whole blank spot that we're looking at right now, but what I want to do is I want to use the the local and organic buildings, so those specialized buildings, and I also want to make a bit of a market area, so like a farmer's market type area, and just kind of mix it all in, maybe some green space, and just encourage a lot of people in this area to wander around, and yeah, so let's get into it. So this is the area over here, so if you don't know where we are, there's the downtown obviously, we have the campus here and the Olympic area is down there. So we're going to be filling in this area right here. Now, usually I just plop down all of the buildings myself, but you can't actually find the eco buildings in here. Like even if you just search like organic or eco, like nothing comes up. So what I'm actually going to do is because I, I don't want to just, I don't want any old buildings to spawn. I like to be more specific. So I'm just gonna go like this and we're going to make a little district so then we can just build them and then I can copy and paste them to see which ones I exactly want for different areas. So we'll let those build, put that demand up so they build faster. Okay, they can get going. So let's think about the design for this. I haven't actually thought about it yet, but it's, it's a good location for a lot of people because we have the bus stop here, we have the train station that's right there and there's a lot of like students and workers there's a lot of there's a big residential area here as well and we have this area over here which is going to be full of probably residents as well i'm actually just going to make this part straight right here even though it looks kind of silly but this is where i'm going to put some parking lots and if it's on a curve it's a bit hard to place down all of the parking lots but we have some coming in now some different sized ones so that's good Okay, so I've added this pathway in here, but what I want to do is first of all change the location of the bus stop because currently it's in the parking lot, so we'll just move it up there. We might also, well it's it's kind of tricky because we have different terrains in this area, so that's something that we have to consider as well. Well what I might do is I will flatten this out here, so this part can be for larger density buildings like these ones. So those can go like that right there as well. And then we might just smoothen this out in here as well. So we can start to put in some of these guys over along this road as well. So what I have come up with, so we might have some of these eco buildings along down here, maybe a mixture of other types, I don't know just yet. This area will be like the market main area. And then we'll also have some more eco well, I'm calling them eco, but the organic stuff, but we'll put them along here as well. And then we'll ban cars from going in through this part through here. So cars can still technically go up here, but that's the only spot because this is more pedestrian friendly. So we don't want it to be too car friendly. So I guess if we are going to copy these organic buildings, we need to extend the um the district otherwise they'll disappear now i'm going to choose ones that don't really have parking on them which isn't many but this is one of them so if i just go like that and copy and it's probably good to make it historical as well is that the front that's a bit low okay so make historical and then we'll bring him up to the ground level Okay, we've got healthy weeds where you can get your marijuana. We'll put that over here as well. This one still has some parking lots, but we might be able to cover that with some planters or something. Okay, I've zoned these ones, but I feel like they're going to be really, really ugly. Um, I also want to put a pathway from this upper level just down to the ground level as well. And I'm thinking maybe we can do a pathway right across the train line. That might, that might be really helpful, actually. So you guys, this is why I don't just let it build stuff, because look how ugly that looks. No offense, but like, just... Oh, the shapes don't look right. We don't want a car charging spot right there. Um, what is... Oh, that's that one. Um, could we just copy some more? Uh, let's have a... Actually, what's this one? Well, that one's a bit better. We can drag that up a little bit. Put it into place. Now we just need to find some more. Actually, maybe we'll just put down some other random ones that fit in. Well, where's the one with the cafe? 
Oh, there we go. That looks good. Having like this was an awkward little space that no buildings would fit in. So I've just placed down some uh, seating area assets, little pop soda, a little food thing there. And then we'll come around this side as well. Um, we've got the soy lentils, another little table area. So I think it fits in all right. Now we've got one pathway going down, that's good. And we've got this area over here. I was thinking of making um, this area open because because it is a bus stop, so maybe people, maybe there's going to be lots of people, so we need lots of space for all of the people to stand. Why is that? Ah, oh, I see why. We need to go down to flatten that out. There we go. All right, you guys, so we've filled it in with all of these market pathways. So it is just a pathway. If you go into the pathways here and you'll find it right here. So like you just saw in the speed build, you just draw it out and they suddenly appear and it is a proper pathway, so they will all use it. So now we have some little seating areas as well, some food trucks. And so what I'm going to do next is just detail, so fill in these empty awkward spaces in between, put in some more seating areas. We're going to make a bit of a, a proper seating area in this square right here. Um, we need to put down the parking lots. And then I don't know what's going to go along here yet. These look horrible. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let's just get on with it and just see kind of how it all develop, develops. All right, you guys, oh, we've done basically everything that we want to do. I have not pressed play yet, but I assume there's probably going to be something else that I forget to do. But let's go in and have a look at it, a laggy, a little laggy look. So we've got some along here, but you'll notice it's, it's really not that busy just yet. And that's when we have to do the next thing to actually make all of these people want to come here. So just quickly, some other things that I did is I put some residential in just to fill in this area. I put in some, I don't remember if that's residential offices or whatever, but you know, I filled in that space over here as well. So that looks really good actually with the two large buildings there. And yeah, so I just wanted to put in some large buildings around it just to make it seem a little bit more cozy. So I'm going to just let it play out for a little while. Ah, that's one thing that we forgot to do. We need to ban the cars from coming in through 
here actually we'll do that now so we go up into here and it's vehicle restriction so nothing should be on this side um, this one should have nothing actually I'll have to do it like this manually so there shouldn't be anything up here this one we will allow everything else except cars and same for this one no cars no cars but other like dump trucks or whatever can still come through this one shouldn't really have anything on it I don't think there's any reason for them yeah there's nothing on here that will actually need a connection so we get rid of that one okay time for you to disappear off you go excuse me going to eco center well that must be those ones um, for now, I think I'm just going to leave this this open and empty because, yeah, I don't know what we're really going to put in there yet. I made the parking lots on an angle as well because if I do it like straight straight across, even though those are realistic, like I literally parked one yesterday. But if I do that, everyone in the comments like has a little fit about it, like oh, it's so unrealistic. The sharps, the turns are too sharp. Blah blah blah. So. I've only put it like that for the winges. We've got the <laughs> we've got the the bus station over here. Just really basic and simple. Now you notice there's not really many people in here, so we've got two different ways. So first of all, we have the people generator, which is like that. And then I saw there was another one that I downloaded. I gotta find it now. I think it's called Crowd. This one. So it's an invisible. It's an invisible building that you just place down. Now, I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if, if there's going to be a lot. So let's just place it down like in the food area like so. Uh, maybe some up here. Just do some random ones. Oh, it, it needs road connection, does it? Oh, that's strange. Okay, we might put one here at the bus to make it look like the bus is really busy. Like so. Can put some over here as well. I don't know how busy this is going to be though. Doesn't really say. The crowd generator by TBD. Visitor capacity 7,600. Oh, so it's going to be a lot. Actually, we've put down that one. So let's put down some of the other people generators as well because I know the people generator works at least. <laughs> but that one you actually have to put on the road, a road connection. So there's that one there some here there's this one that's oh, good put some up here as well duh, 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 duh. um can i put one there no i can I cannot put one there put some down here as well and i think oh here's some as well to make the cafe look like it's busy put some along the shop fronts to make it look like it's busy as well all right this is gonna be good it's gonna be laggy actually i better save before i plus press play oof Okay, I'll just save it and then, so I'm going to save it and then I'm going to just let it run for maybe 10 minutes and then we'll come back and see if it's really busy or not. I don't even know if these generators are going to work. I haven't used them in a while. Okay, well, it's been about 20 minutes and it's not really working. <laughs> the only thing I've noticed is there's a huge increase of people over at the bus stop. Um, maybe they're still coming. I noticed there's actually some people coming over here on the right side. Who are all these people coming? Are they coming to the bus stop or like, oh, why is this one so busy now? Well, I think that has something to do with it, with all of the things I put down. Um, who are they? They're all wearing the same thing. They're going to some kind of event. But um, yeah, if we, I'll just leave it on pause because otherwise it's a bit messy. So, oh, there's a group of people. Where are they going? They might be going up there. Notice the odd car. <laughs> is there any more old cars? No. Are they all going up the little bridge here up into the area? Through the hedge, yes, come on. Past the clown car. Oh, I thought they weren't going to go on then. Looks like they're all going up. Okay, so let's go through the building. Excuse me. Not too busy at all. It's really. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, well, it's kind of busy, but like, I just, I thought it was going to be really busy, like, hi, not too busy, and I wish they weren't all like half on the ground. I didn't realize how steep this was here. So this is the little food area, looks like the hedge thing there is hovering, 
but yeah it's not too busy so I guess we could call this oh it's a little bit busy but I guess we could call this as a bit of a fail um <laughs> aren't all those people coming up here in a second yeah I feel like this was kind of a fail but I mean I guess it's still a nice build I mean there's lots of it's nice and lush it's busy well not too busy but it's got some people going through there but yeah, there you go guys, so now we have a little farmer's market area, and we have the organic and local produce. Now, I don't know what to put on the other side of the road here, probably more low density shops, I think, and then, and then followed by some residential. I don't know, what are you guys feeling like for this area, if I zoom out and just show you guys, like, what are you feeling for this area? Because, I don't know, I don't know what, what uh, type we should do. I just don't know yet. I'll probably just start building and then decide literally in the moment. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, I hope you guys like this little market area. You can easily get these market things on the Steam Workshop. Just type in market and then click pathway. You'll probably find it easier. But yeah, it's a really great thing to do. They can they still walk around through it. Oh, look at, the, look at them all across there. Okay, it's getting a little bit more busy. That's good. We might have to up the amount of buses as well. Okay, now it's looking a little bit more busy. Okay, maybe by the time we do the next episode, more people will be, will be here. I'll probably forget to come back and check it, but <laughs> I'll try to. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, don't forget to leave suggestions for other videos, and I shall have a look in the comments. Anyway, bye guys.